Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Well, we've got Rydia to 54. She should be able to pick up that last level in the next area. Pick up the flare spell. She doesn't need it right now. But we've also got... Let's see. Well, we've got... Uh, Rosa with her aura staff set up. Her white mage set up, essentially. Obviously got her white mage armor on. Got the Excalibur back on Cecil. Kotetsu on Edge. That's his best weapon for now. And Vasilia is the same as always. So let's go ahead and head on up. Oh, I've also got Bacchus Mines at the top here. Not that it particularly matters, but it is there. Alright, let's go. Uh-oh. Um, should we run? Yeah, let's just get out of there. <laughs> let's just get the hell out of there. All right. Uh, what's going on? Uh, what the? But we killed you. We killed you too. We dined on turtle soup already. And you fell off a cliff. Because apparently Zemus can just do that. Somehow. So did you guys know you were working for Zemus when you were working with Golbez? You know what? I don't know. Oh, you mean you're stronger if you fight together? Even though they're not going to fight together and we're going to fight them one at a time in a very strange order. The DS version actually has the proper order that you fought them in. Uh, this version's kind of random. Well, it's not random, but it's a different order. I think we start with... Well, we start with Skarmiglion, then go to Rubicante, then Cognazzo, then... Uh, Barbariccia. Ah, I love when they set the music before the boss fight. So... First things first, I'm going to have Cecil Bacchuswine. Rose is going to cast Haste on him. Uh, Edge. Yeah, why don't you use Flame? He's weak to fire. Why not? Uh, Bacchuswine. Rosa get Haste going. I'm going to have Rydia use a Firaga. Do not have Fasoya use Firaga. It won't end well. Uh, he might turn into Rubicante, and Rubicante would absorb it, of course. Just have him stay on standby for now. We'll go ahead and attack, I guess. Come on, Ru Rhea. There you go. I knew you could do it. Once he turns into Rubicante, I'll use uh, Blizzaga. Uh, not yet, huh? Oh, yeah. You can curse you. Please don't curse. Ah, I cursed. I gotta get soon as that. There we go. Blizzaga. We might be able to get two Blizzagas off, although... Mm, no, I'm going to hold off. Uh, instead, I'm going to use Flood. Rubicante's cape is always open this time, so that's nice. I'd like to get uh, Haste on Riddy if I could. Once he turns into Cognazzo, I'll use Thundaga. They each only have like 20,000 ish HP, so, yeah, not too bad. Uh, he does Inferno on everybody, which is not terribly bad. Uh, haste uh, yourself. Yeah, get another flood going. Uh, yeah, okay. Sleep is so you on standby. Actually, we could use Kiraja. Now that I think about it. Uh, now nah, maybe a Kiraga on edge. How to do the trick. Really? I didn't do it? Maybe I should have cast two Blizzagas. Ah, well, haste, Rydia. 
Rubicante's a lot easier this time. He, uh, doesn't Inferno a single target, so... Ah, I just attacked. Turn, dude. Yeah! Okay. So he's always got the lightning around him this time, so we're gonna use, uh, Thundaga. I'm actually gonna use two Thundagas this time. Kiraja, everybody. Uh, maybe a nice Blitz, unless he turns. Yeah, I don't think he will. Even if he does, it's not going to matter too much. Yeah, Blitz should still do something. She's always in tornado form, unfortunately. Leave Rosa on standby now. Uh, we're going to summon Bahamut now. Oh. And just attack. She's weak to Holy for some reason, so go ahead and cast that. Leave Vasoya on standby for an emergency Kiraja because she can use Maelstrom. It sucks. It will kill you. And it won't be good. But yeah, she is weak to Holy for some weird reason. I don't know why, but well, she is. Ah, we got her. Okay. If that didn't get her, Holy would have gotten her. Actually, I think in the SNES version, she's still actually weak to lightning. Because it didn't clear from Cognazzo. But they fixed that in this version. See you, Rubicante. Yeah, we should go back and uh, get in a random encounter. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna actually, uh... I could use my machine weapons, but I'm just gonna go ahead and... Can we get my turn? I'm just gonna summon Bahamut here. And put an end to this. Uh, are you using Holy there, Rydia? Rosa? I think she is, actually. Yeah, she is. We're going back to the save point anyway, so... Yeah, might as well. There we go. I did it despite out, but uh, I'm lazy. There we go. Yay, so you gained a useless level. Uh, no, I want Rosa. I'm actually gonna change Rosa's equipment setup. All right, I'm just gonna run from any other battles here. Go ahead and get a cottage going. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Barbarici is weak to Holy. It's weird. But Cecil Berserk just completely tears her apart. Save up there, and... You know what? I'm gonna rearrange my equipment, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, first things first, remove all of Fusoya's equipment. Uh, just... You'll want to do that. I mean... It's not completely necessary. He doesn't have anything that I would really care for, other than, I guess, maybe the extra fairy rod. Eh, it could be useful. But, I mean, there's other stuff we can buy. But, yeah, I, I might as well remove it from him. Rosa's got those Yuichi arrows equipped. I know I said they were useless before, but... This is the only time I use them. They don't exploit a creature type. I could use those Artemis arrows, but I don't want to waste those here. So, I figured, just throw in a placeholder arrow. We got ten Yuichi arrows here. Might as well use them. Yuichi bow. Got her bow, bow set up for... You know, maximizing her strength. And I gave the Moonring Blade over to Edge because he's going to want a long range weapon, even though he's in the front row. All right, so let's go. And just run from all the enemies. We're done here. Let's just get the hell out of here. Wow, I got in a random encounter literally right where the enemies are, where the boss fight was. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go up here, and this is the core of the giant. Whoa. So, okay. Yeah. 
Fusoya's advice here is, uh, well, you don't have to listen to it, but I do. Some people actually like to kill the attack node first and then leave the defense node for later and just kind of try to out damage it, but nah, I think you should uh, do that. Yeah, this guy is not nearly that hard. I think in the SNES version, he's a lot stronger. Haste, Rydia. Haste, Rosa. I don't even care to use the Spider Silk. Now, we're actually going to use the Self Summon on the CPU. Do not kill. I'm gonna throw the uh, Avenger at the CPU. Do not kill the both nodes, or you will be hit by Globe 199, and it will kill you. It'll do max damage to one person, and you will die. And he'll just keep repeating that over and over and over again until he revives both nodes. Now, Rydia will keep us healed. And we need to use Sylph to bypass Reflect. Because he'll have Reflect on himself at some point. Don't use Berserk here, obviously. Uh, Rosa's going to use her arrows. Throw the Lustrous Sword as well. And then I'm going to throw a regular Shuriken. And Fasoya, he's basically useless. I'm just going to have him use Bless, I guess. That's not bad from Rosa, considering there's no creature type. Yeah, just go ahead and use Bless. Uh, Fasoya sucks here once he's gotten haste going. Yeah, Sylph is really good. If you had the bomb summon, that could be useful here as well. Probably do even more damage. Yeah, that laser barrage was like really strong in the SNES version. So you actually probably wanted to take out the attack node and try to deal or out damage the defense node. But in this version, I think you're all right. At least I remember it being a lot stronger in the SNES version. But I could just be misremembering. It's been a long time since I've played that version. We pretty much have the fight won at this point. Yeah, Rydia will keep us healed. Nice, that was good healing. Yeah, about four or five hundred to everybody is pretty good. And go ahead and just attack. I'm not gonna throw that Fuma Shuriken. And Rosa, why don't you finish this off here? No? Okay, fine. So, whatever. That ought to do the trick. Didn't really need another Sylph, but whatever. I was expecting Rose's arrows to kill the thing. Pretty easy boss fight, frankly. Even easier than the Archfiends were. Yeah, that's not bad. That is such a good spell. That's a really good single targeting summon. It's too bad the healing doesn't display correctly in this NES version. Alright, we did it! Now, if you're playing the, the DS version, you actually get an additional story sequence here. That is canon to FF4, but it's not in this version, sorry. And I don't have an easy means of editing that in. Otherwise, I might actually have done so. Essentially, we get some more backstory on Golbez here. Very good backstory, actually. But, unfortunately, it's just not in this version. Although, the After Years will... I think it uses all the DS changes, the story changes in the DS version, yeah. So I'm assuming this scene is among them. Well, no, it is. Uh, the DS version of this sequence. It also uses the DS translation. Uh, what happened? Ah, oh, Golbez is uh, back. Oh, of course. You're Cecil's brother, because why? why not, right? Mine as well.
So that's why Golbez couldn't kill Cecil back at the Tower of Zot. He, when he got hit by Meteor, I guess the spell over him weakened, and he recognized Cecil as his brother, briefly. Before, you know, he left, and then Zemus was able to get the power back over him. Wow. Kane, man, you're pretty pathetic. You got mind-controlled by a guy that was being mind-controlled. That is really sad. Yeah, like, Golbez in the DS version will explain why, like, what, what he means by this line. Here, it's left very vague. No, you want to join the party, Golbez? That'd be pretty badass. Yeah, sure, you can take the worst party member in the game with you. Uh, why not? What do you mean Edward exists? Edward's not the worst party member in this game. Maybe in the SNES version. Yeah, Cecil, you gonna talk to him? No? Yeah, he's your brother. We gotta get out of here. What are you talking about? Oh, hey, Kane. I'm imagining the control is off of him now. Notice how he immediately goes to grab Rosa to get her out of there. I'm sure that's not unintentional. Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, we can't go back into the Giant of a Bill anymore. Oh well. He might be alright. Nah, probably not now. He's, he's probably dead. Hey, your arm's off. And your leg. And your head. And everything. That's good, Kane. Can we kick your ass now? It was your doing, actually. Rosa, why did you... Okay, first of all, I don't know how you walked through Cecil there, but... Why are you yelling at Cecil? I mean, I know. She's standing in front of it. It's a edgy yelling, but... It does look like she starts yelling at Cecil, which is kind of funny. What, you didn't know that, Kane? Yeah, yeah. FF4's endgame plot gets a little weird. I mean, I like it. It's just a little strange, that's all. I mean, we're going to the moon, fighting an evil alien. It's a little odd, considering this is a medieval game. Eh. Don't blame you, Edge. Now, is this the scene that irritates me? Alright. To the moon! Alright, here we go. Let's go kick Zemus' ass. Why? They're literally your healer and the most powerful black mage and summoner in the game. Why would you send them off the ship? They're as strong, if not stronger, than you. I mean, Riddy is debatably stronger than you. And Rosa can kick her at, kick ass with arrows, too. Yeah, this makes absolutely no sense. Although it is funny in the SNES version. He says, get off the big whale. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. But, yeah, I mean, Rosa, I can kind of understand because he's thinking stupidly about the girl he loves, the, the woman he loves there. Rydia? There is no excuse. Like, on top of all the things they've all done together at this point, 
you know, fighting Rubicante, fighting Barbariccia. Ridia literally saved them from Golbez. Not to mention Rosa was around for a lot of that, too. So, yeah, this is a dumb, dumb sequence. This is a dumb scene. It's really completely illogical. Whatever. I mean, if that's the worst thing the game does in the plot, I, I think we're doing alright. This also doesn't make sense. So where were they? Was she just hanging outside the ship? C can you breathe in space in FF4? I mean, it's weird enough you can breathe on the moon. But that is indeed the exit to the ship. Like... They should have had them down below where the beds were. Not entering that part. Uh, Rosa is 100% correct here. This is also pretty much her shining moment, so... At least the scene has that. I mean, I don't... I'm not a huge fan of Rosa's character. She's... Kind of lame. She's... She's pretty much the cardboard of this game, you know? Like a certain Seven from Xenoblade, but... That's alright. At least she gets this moment. As they make out. I love that. <laughs> make out sprite. It's hilarious. It just looks so weird to me. Hi, Rydia. This was your idea, wasn't it? I do like that it was Rydia's idea. I mean, she is the best girl in this game. Let's be honest here. Well, that was easy. At least they back down immediately. Oh, yeah, uh, this is new. Uh, we can change party members at the Hall of Prayer in Mysidia, which is good. Uh, that's new to this version and the Game Boy Advance version, I guess. Now, you cannot use Fusoya or Tella. Uh, Fusoya is busy with Golbez, and you can't use Tella because um, he's dead. Although, you know, Zombie Tella would be pretty badass. But no, no, we don't have access to Zombie Tella, sadly. So we're going to go back. We're going to get out of here. There's two things that I would like to do before going to the moon. Number one, we got that optional area, but that's not really what I want to do first. Uh, first things first. I want to go steal some spider silks at this point in the game. If I can. Do I have item space? Yeah, I do. Good. Oh yeah, we got Kane back. He comes with uh, Genji armor, if you care. And the Gungnir, which is weird. I don't know why he has Odin's spear. I mean, we literally have Odin as a summon. You, you'd think he'd be pretty mad about this. But, nah. I guess Odin figures everybody's immune to instant death anyway in this game, so... What can he do about it? Yeah, that's right. Nothing. Actually, it's weird. Why does Odin use a sword in Final Fantasy? Now that I think about it... Why does he use a sword? Like, the Gungnir is his weapon of legend. That is weird! I never thought about that before. I think he has an attack called Gungnir in FF7, but... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense! Unless there's something I don't remember about Norse mythology, but... Eh, whatever. Uh, I want to get Edge and Kane reversed here. Now, this is the party that is the final party for the final dungeon. I will go through the final dungeon twice. I will go through it with... Here, just use Sight. I will go through it with the main part. Well, with a better party. I'm still going to use the ladies because they're just flat better than the alternatives. But and you have to use Cecil. But I will sub out Kane and Edge for better party members for the final dungeon for one run, and then I'll use the original five for another run. Now, to, in order to get, we should be able to steal spider soaks at this point. I hope so. Anyway, with all that level grinding I did, I shouldn't have any issues. There's the tunneler. Oh, crap. If I'm going to do this, we're going to set the battle speed to 1. So, let's go ahead and steal. 
Don't give me that cop by the enemy nonsense. Slow. I shouldn't have any issues stealing spider slugs at this point. I'm surprised I had an issue there. There we go. I'm gonna say. Dude, you're, you're way higher level than these guys now. Well, maybe not way higher, but certainly high enough. I want to get 99 of them just to have enough that, you know, I'll never run out of them. They're useful and it, it'll it stop Rosa from having to cast uh, slow. Go ahead and get haste going on edge. I'm going to go ahead and get a few hastes on him. Because why not? Like I said, it takes like four hastes to get one slow uh, equivalent, which is just ridiculous. Haste is just not... It's not terrible, but it's not great. I, didn't, I think it barely worked at all on the SNES version. There we go. That should be enough. So, yeah, we're just going to auto-battle this now. And... Edge, what are you doing, dude? There we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Edge, you're making me look bad here, man. Come on. Get the spider soaks. Thank you. Even if I hadn't done the level grinding, I would have been able to steal, you know, 30, 40 of them pretty easily, so... I'll spend like three minutes getting 99 of these and I'll be right back. All right, we're back and one more steal ought to do the trick. Really, Edge? Really? Really, Edge? Really? No, just just really, man? There you go. That should be 99 spider soaks. Yes, there we go. Murder this guy and be done with it. Yay, we did it. Yes, cat, can I help you? So that is going to indeed be the end of that. Oops. Hold on to those silver hourglasses if you got any. If you don't, it's not a big deal. But they might come in handy against a certain toad. You don't need it, need it. I mean, the stop spell will do the same thing, but it makes it slightly easier. Now, there's one other thing we can do because the game hates you. And it has made another chest available in the Sylph's Cavern. Look, I don't know what to tell you, all right? I don't make the game. I didn't put the thing there. It exists, therefore I have to get it. It's my nature. I know it's there. Cast float. I'm just gonna run from all the enemies because I don't care. So since I'm running, we're just gonna go ahead and run there as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, just go straight down. Still the most weird save point in the game. It's so close to the entrance. What's the point? Nope, we want to skip that, I believe. Especially don't want to fight Malboros, because Bad Breath will work on me. Now, you'll notice I'm getting ambushed a lot less, because... The game uses ambushes and back attacks as a way of telling you that you're under leveled. Because I was lower level than the enemies, I was getting ambushed and back attacked like crazy throughout the game. Uh, that's gonna stop now because I'm so much higher level, which is good. Now we go check the bookshelf and we get the summon book. Now I know what you're thinking. Does that power up Ridia's summons and do something remotely useful? <laughs> what game do you think this is? Really? Really? You, you think you think it's going to do something good? No. It summons a random Eidolon. It's worthless. But it is a unique item. Now, what do the Sylphs say, anyway? Yeah, Yang's all better. Oh. Yeah, Yang's married. Yay! Now, how many rune armlets do I have? Uh, two. I'm gonna buy two more of them. Do I really need to do that? I don't think so. I think I only need one, but they're so cheap. Why not? 
I like to have a total of five of them in case I want to, you know. But, although I don't think Sussel can ever equip one. So I really only need to think four of them. But I definitely need one more. So I'm just going to buy two of them just so I can be sure. Also, normally at this point, I would go to Mithril and buy a Mithril Hammer. But I don't need to because I've gotten... Mo Actually, I might need to. Because I think I had to redo that episode. Oop, that's not what I want. So yeah, Rune, Armlet, I'm gonna buy not 11 of them, just two of them. There we go. That gives me five of them. Can you equip it, Cecil? No, you cannot. While I'm here, let's go take out a... Oh, no. No, I have a spaceship that has a Jokoba on it. I want to get a Ruby Armlet back. Or I want to get the Ruby Rings back out. Uh, there's Malboros in the next area, sadly. So, I don't know if I have... Whatever, I'm just gonna go buy a... Let's just go to Mithril and buy a... Mithril Hammer. Uh, why? It deals more damage against some creature type. I forget. I think it might be machines, actually. Yeah, that sounds right. There's a reason I'm buying it. Oh, no. It's effective against undead. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I want it for uh, a boss fight coming up. So, yeah, we want to buy a Mithril Hammer. If you got one as a drop, well, more power to you. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to the Lunar Whale. Grab that. How many, uh... Hmm... I don't have a whole lot of room. Okay. Let's go to the Lunar Whale. Easier to move around the world at this point. I want to strip everybody except Cecil, but that's easier said than done with the limited inventory space. I'll probably do some things off screen. I'm not going to sell anything anymore, I don't think. Yeah, because I don't really need the money anymore. I mean, yeah, there's some things I might buy in the post game, but if I don't have enough money for them, I really, really don't care that much. Let's see, let's deposit that summon book. I'm never going to use that. I want to get out those apples as well at this point. Oh, we have a poison axe that we got. Let's see. Uh, we don't need additional lightning arrows. I don't think we need the Artemis arrows right now either. But I'll keep them out anyway. Oh, that's the extra fairy rod? Yeah, store that. I don't really need that. Echo herbs. I guess I'll hold on to them. What else is there that I wanted to do? Right, I want those ruby rings. If I can get them. Golden apple. Ruby ring. Oh, uh, Edge, or not Edge, Kane can use the Defender Sword, and I think it's better than the Defender for him, so if you're gonna use Kane, he will want the Defender. It's just flat better for him. Silver Apples, okay. Let's go ahead and use the console.
want to go to Mysidia. Where am I? Ah, I'm a little off. I know if it's in the general right area. Don't mind the giant spaceship outside your doorstep. Yeah, we need to protect against Malboro's evil cousin in the next area, but let's go through this cutscene. Get out of my way. Go past the crystal chamber. Oh. Now, you talk to somebody and you can switch in your party members. They've been leveling up on their own, which is great. So, don't worry about that. Uh, in fact, Palum probably has Flare by now, which is good. Once you're done with that, just cancel out of it. You get a cutscene. Uh, something going on with the mountain of ordeals. Yeah, there's a new location there, unique to the Game Boy Advance and the PSP version. Sure thing. It's designed to get your other party members up to snuff, because otherwise they don't have really good equipment. Now, the party I am going to use... Well, for one, I want to use those apples on Edward. Because, unfortunately, he just does not have a lot of HP, as you can see. He's even less than Rydia. And you really need about 2,000 HP. So, I am going to use apples on him to get him to that point. I think there's another apple we get in the final dungeon that I'll use on Rydia. But, yeah. I, I know Edward looks like he's not going to be great, but uh, he has other things going for him. His defense stat is surprisingly good. He's got a lot of defense multipliers. You'd be surprised uh, how sturdy he gets uh, once he reaches high enough level. Uh, so, who am I going to use? Uh, I'm going to use somebody here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, we're going to use Edward, Cecil, oh, we're going to use Rosa, Yang, and Rydia. That makes sense, actually. So I do need to strip uh, Kane if I have enough room for it. I'll find out. And we're not using Edge, I believe. Yes. Actually, these are unique to Edge. He can leave those equipped. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and get Edward and Jan. There we go. And we'll need to use those apples on Edward. And I think we have a golden apple that we could use on him. There we go. That'll help him out a little bit. And yeah, now he's got more HP than Rydia. Good. So the next apples, if we get any, I'll use on Rydia. Those are the two that need the help the most. I don't think they come with any equipment or anything, no. So let's just go back to the ship. We're going to rest up. And then I think I'm going to... I'll figure out my equipment situation in between episodes. I'll equip them. Uh, again, I'm not going to sell anything anymore. So don't worry about that. I'm just going to store things that I don't plan to take with me. So I'll show you my item inventory and everything next time. So yes, yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.